guys welcome back to the channel so i'm going to share with you my oat mini meals uh very quick very easy this is not all the meals that i ate uh, but i did eat very similar meals constantly and very repetitively because it was easy for me for work but i am going to give you a glimpse of what i had and how simple it is to actually do a oat mini so I'm just starting with plain oatmeal. I buy it at Costco in bulk and I have mangoes. Um, it is just a very staple breakfast for me. I actually take this for lunch as well when I'm bringing it to work. So yes, I will eat the same thing over again or I might just change the fruit if I'm having it for lunch. So I am microwaving it. Uh, that is debatable. If you want to microwave yours, go ahead. If you want to do it on the stovetop, go ahead as well. I make it both ways depending on how much time I have. But on this day, I threw it in the microwave. So I like mine a little more watery. I know some people like it super thick. Um, but yeah, I'm just having that with bell peppers just because that's my absolute favorite. And I have bell peppers with pretty much every meal. And I still had some tomatoes from the garden. So I had that alongside. So for lunch, I had a mushroom oatmeal stew. It was so delicious, um, very outside the box. And it took me a minute to kind of get used to the whole idea of having it, you know, savory. But this meal is actually something that I will make over and over again because it was definitely a hit. So I like to add some hot sauce to mine once it's cooked up. You don't have to. I added some staple seasonings and some really healthy herbs in, oregano, of course, and garlic because... You know, we got to get that garlic in as well for the antibacterial properties. So while on the mini, I used many different types of mushrooms. I just showed you the ones that we found at Costco, something different. I used those. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but you can pause the video if you want to take a look at it and if you want to try it out. But I used cremini's with the same recipe once and it turned out perfect as well. So whatever mushroom you have on hand will work. And then I'm just throwing in my oatmeal. And yeah, it was just very interesting because it is not, you know, the typical oatmeal meal. You're thinking, you know, sweets um, and breakfasty types of things, but you can definitely make a lot of savory dishes. And the 10 days really goes by really quickly. Um, when you're having such satisfying food, I felt full all the time and I ended up losing eight pounds on the mini. That wasn't the purpose of going on the mini. I just wanted to kind of cleanse and reboot myself because I find that when I'm having too many mixes of different foods, Foods that my body just doesn't do as well it likes that simplicity it likes a lot of repetitive meals and then I can digest properly and I feel my best So as far as the recipe goes, you guys know that I wing my recipes, but I will add the quantities in the description box for you of what I used in the recipe. Now, as far as cooking time, I didn't really pay attention to the cooking time. I just kept checking on it and I was mixing quite often because I didn't want it to stick to the Dutch oven. But again, I was using a Dutch oven and that means it cooks a lot faster than a regular pot. So I feel like I probably cooked it in about 20 minutes um, if I was going to guess. But yeah, I will add the description of the recipe and that way you guys can try making it at home. It is a delicious recipe and you can load it with mushrooms. You can add other veggies if you want to as well. You can definitely customize this recipe to your needs and liking. You are allowed to have some condiments on the Mary's Mini. You can use soy sauce, you can use different sauces as long as they don't have oil. You can go ahead and add a little bit to that just to add some pizzazz to your meals and that way you stick to the plan and stay on for the 10 days. So I did have fresh parsley still growing in the backyard, so I topped my food with the parsley just because it has a lot of detoxing properties and I really like adding that and it freshens up the meal as well.
Okay, so I have some apple cinnamon oatmeal that I made. So I had to get rid of all those apples. I mean, you saw how many there were. Um, so I did make this a couple of times just to get through all those apples just because they were looking pretty sad. So I did use like four or five of those um, in and I chopped them up really finely and then added about four um, cups of the oatmeal. And yeah, that way um, it gave a lot of extra I think I even threw in five cups once when I made it uh, because again I had to get through all those apples and it was really handy because I was doing the oat mini so that way there wasn't any waste. So I just threw in some water and some cinnamon and um, because you know we're near Halloween and still in the fall season I do use pumpkin spice quite a bit so I did throw in some pumpkin spice as well to a lot of my oatmeal dishes while I was on the mini. So yeah, very simple, very easy. And you know, if you don't have a instant pot, remember the slow cooker is still a really handy thing. Just throw it on early and let it do its thing. So I added a few of my large mason jars. I think they're like 16 ounces um, of water in and I'm not adding any milk, just the water and that's it um, because I am on the mini. I already have the fruit in there and the oats and then I just have to pair that with veggies and then I'm good to go. So I am adding a little more fruit than I normally would when on a mini but again I have to use up the fruit and I would rather use it and keep myself full and on plan and you know staying on the 10 days versus veering off and deciding to eat something else and ending the mini sooner because I'm not feeling satisfied. So in order to make sure that I stay on track maybe adding a little bit extra fruit is not so such a bad thing um, it will keep me full and satisfied so this is pretty much it I just let it do its thing the house smelled amazing and it was so so delicious and really good to pack for your work lunches and just make sure you have some veggies lots of veggies non-starchy veggies on the side and you are good to go it is going to make you feel full and satisfied and it like I said was a very very easy mini to get through and you can do a lot with oatmeal oatmeal is a wonderful wonderful thing to incorporate in your diet and there's so much fiber and nutrition as well so if you wanted further information about minis, I would go on Dr. McDougall's website. He has a wealth of knowledge and information there, and there it explains the whole mini and why we do it. But in a simple way of explaining it, I do it to reset my body, to give it very simple foods and a lot of repetitive meals. That way my digestion doesn't have a million things to digest and everything just runs a lot more smoother and you typically lose some weight while you are on your mini as well. So that's it for the video guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and you can see that you can actually use oatmeal in savory dishes as well. I wish I had filmed more during my mini. I think I do have a couple other things that I made, but again, I kept it very simple and very easy and it was so, so easy to get through this mini. Honestly, it was pretty much my favorite. Um, you know, I really like rice. I love my rice minis and I find them very easy to do as well. But I feel like even the oatmeal was better than the potatoes for me personally. I could do so much with it and I felt very satisfied with a lot of the oatmeals. Um, and then I was able to have lots of veggies alongside and it was really easy and delicious. So if you wanted more info on the Mary's minis, like I said, check out my playlist and other videos and that will shed some more light on what the Mary's mini actually is. But of course, um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'm going to ask you to do that now and that we don't miss any upcoming content and videos coming up during the holidays. So thanks so much for being here, guys. Take care and stay healthy.